Well, Lloyd, congratulations on your nomination for Apprentice of the Year in the Championship. Um, what was your reaction? Um, well, when I found out, that I was quite shocked and pleased. Obviously, being nominated is a big thing. So, um, just wait and see what happens on the night, really. But it'll be a good evening to see all the famous faces and things like that. But all that matters is I'm there nominated, really. So, quite buzzing. You joined the academy age 12. Um, how much have things changed for you in that time up to now? Um, yeah, massively, really. Like, obviously, how I've developed as a player um, and how I am now like, as a person. I thought like, I've changed for the better and things like that. Just see what the future holds, really. Yeah. We're told you're very good academically um, with your NVQ, um, working towards an extended diploma. How much do you enjoy that side of things compared to just kicking a football out there on the training pitches and in matches? Um, well, surprisingly, I do enjoy it. Um, obviously, being over at a different campus, doing all the work and then coming back in, training and things like that is a bit of a, a bit of a hustle, really. But overall, I do enjoy it, yeah. Now we talk to players when they reach the other end of their career about coaching and what they want to do after playing. And you've already got a, a qualification for coaching already. Tell us about that. Uh, well, yeah, as a part of the education scheme, like we obviously do a level two coaching badge. So I managed to get that done and dusted. So hopefully, obviously, if I do have a good career, that's another path I can take after it. So, yeah. You keep yourself busy. Um, it wasn't so long ago you went to Botswana, but it wasn't with the first team for Botswana. You went with the Community Trust, didn't you? Just tell us what you did out there and how you got involved with that. Um, well, yeah, um, how I got involved is with, um, obviously, with the Community Trust. And while we were out there, we just um, done like a bit of bonding with the younger children in different schools and things like that. And then um, repainted uh, like a campus for blind children so which was which was good because after they seen obviously all the people and things like that they were quite buzzing about it so yeah it was a really good experience overall was it was it a humbling experience at the time as well yeah 100 percent like um it was quite heartwarming to see um how they took us and things like that but as soon as we got there People just looking around, like seeing oh, who we are, coming up to us and things like that. And you just see smiles on their faces like from us just being there. So obviously when we were playing with the children, getting them in and amongst the older people, they were even more ecstatic. So it was a good, humbling experience really. On a personal level for you, you moved into foster care at a very young age. How, how has that affected everything you've done in terms of academy football, in terms of your studies? Mm -hmm. um, well, yeah. I think obviously being in foster care is obviously it's not what you really want but I took it as a positive and just kind of change the negatives of it and put it into positives in terms of how I take on different challenges and things like that I just see it as another challenge like throughout my um, childhood and obviously now being 18 like I just see life in a different perspective really for the better. Just one year after you went with the Community Trust to Botswana, all of a sudden you were thrust in to the first team. You and Ash Harper went out to Portugal. What was that sort of 12-month period like between being with the Trust and all of a sudden being in the first team squad? Well, yeah, it was quite hectic really, because obviously I was just doing my GCSEs as well. Just finished my GCSEs and then I was at under-16s and then finished there, came straight up to obviously Feyland done a little bit of training with the 23s which I was meant to be training with full time and then thrown into the first team which was a bit surreal. I was quite shocked and ecstatic and then obviously being again thrown out to Portugal with the first team that was a bit is a huge step really but um, I thought it was a good learning experience overall and um, fast tracked my learning in terms of football wise. So it's a good experience. You said you're 18 now, but you've been playing regularly for the 23s. Next season, just speaking to, to Brian Tinian recently, he said probably a loan move is, is what's needed for you. Would that be an exciting thing for you? Yeah, 100%. Like, I think I'm looking at a new chapter in my development and going out on loan and speaking to Brian Tinian, like, it would be a massive thing for me. The men's football is a different experience. There's a lot more online, obviously, with the manager and 
playoffs and all this and that. So I think it'd be good, it'd be good to learn the experience next year. Have you seen your teammates this season? Some one in particular, perhaps someone like Zach Viner, who's gone into league football all of a sudden. Come January, he's back in the first team. Yeah, that's what I I, I want to do really, because um, obviously Zach was playing twenty three football last season, gone out on loan as you said, and then come back, gone straight into the first team and been doing really well. So that's what, what I want to follow in his footsteps really. So yeah. Best of luck for the awards. Thank you.